Hey, I'm going to show you how I'd set up my charts for the uh, project and how to calculate an LD50 from your data. Uh, you're going to create four graphs, one for each of the detergents you used. You're going to set up your data like this with concentration on the left hand side, so it'll be on the x-axis, and the number of worms killed for each concentration on the right hand side, so it'll be on the y-axis. You. Um, want to make sure that when you do this that you sum up all the data, all the trials for each detergent. So for when you make your chart make sure you sum up all your trials and use all the compiled data because the more data you have the more normal your data is going to be when you start to to graph it and I'll show you in a second what that really means. So once you have your data in here go ahead and select it. Make sure you don't select the zero concentration because when you add a trend line, which I'll show you in a second, it won't calculate it in some cases, so do that. Don't select the zero. Select an XY scatter plot for your plot. Select this one right here. None of the ones with connecting lines, but just the, the scatter. Go ahead and label your graph. Make sure it's descriptive. Uh, something that when people read it they'll understand what it is. On your x-axis you're charting the detergent concentration and on the y-axis we have number of worms killed or something like that whatever you think is best. Once we have all that in there we can add our trend line go ahead and select a data point right click on it add trend line Go to type, and you're going to want to choose one of these three, linear, logarithmic, or exponential. Don't use the others because the equation it gives you will be too complicated to calculate your LD50. Now which one you choose is going to be completely dependent on your data. Um, in this case, a logarithmic looks best, but whichever one, whichever line fits your data points the most closely is the one that you want to use. Once you have that in, go to options display equation on chart and you're ready to go with your trend line now it's really important that you have enough trials and enough data before you add your trend line or before you ever try to graph in this case I'll show you here this is only one trial and a lot of times the data can be irregular so the more data you have the more it'll even out and the more regular it'll look I'll show you in this case there's really no trend line that will even fit this. So you need enough data where it'll appear normal once you add the trend line. Back to this. This equation is important that it gives you because from this equation you can calculate at any given concentra or at any given concentration x you know how many worms you would expect to die. Why? Detergent, detergent concentration is your X and number of worms killed is your Y. This is important because for example you didn't you you didn't you never had any trials that had contained 20 percent concentration of detergent so you would have no idea without without this equation how many worms you would expect to die under 20 percent concentration you had 12 and a half and 25 but no 20 percent so we can use this equation and plug in 20 percent as x solve and it'll spit out y which is the number of worms that we would expect to die at 20 percent concentration it's important to note that excel treats percentages as decimals so you can't just go ahead and plug in 20 percent in here 20% is 0 0.2, 40 is 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, up to 100% is 1.0. So make sure that you, that you use the correct value instead of the percentage. For example, 33% would be 0.33 or 12%, 0 0.12. So just make sure you do that. Now, now that you have your trend line and your equation, you can go ahead and calcu calculate your LD50. Now, the LD50 is the, is the concentration at which half the worms will die. This is used a lot in 
other similar ex experimental protocols such as this and, and analysis of data, uh, all the way up to very high-end labs. Uh, this very everyone uses these in 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 pharmacology type analysis. So to calculate this, we use this equation here, and I'll show you three examples. We want to calculate what concentration kills half the maximal number of worms. So first we need to find the maximal number of worms that died. So we know for this detergent, at 100%, the maximum number of worms that died was 12. So we want to find out what concentration kills half of that. So we take 6, which is half of 12, the max number of worms that died, and plug it into y and solve for x. Because we know, we, we know that y is the number of worms that died, so 6 is half the maximal. And we solve for x, which is the concentration. So if you say 6 right here, trace it down, we can ca calculate that exact value there, the exact percentage. Now, I know that you probably haven't used logs before. Um, this L in here is the log, and, uh, and uh, it has to do with E. Uh, you probably learned about pi, which is an irrational number, 1.141, blah, blah, blah. E is just like pi. It's an irrational number. It, it's used a lot in, in these logarithmic calculations. I'm not sure if you've learned about it yet, but this is E. You don't need to actually know this. Your calculator will do it without any problem, but just for reference, th this is, it's just like pi. So, in this case, we get this equation right here, y equals 3.3347 natural log x plus 12.491. So we go ahead and plug in our 6. We subtract 12.491 from each side. This is just algebra. Subtract from each side. Go ahead and divide each side. Oh, let me go. let me go ahead and do this on the calculator. So divide each side, or subtract 12.491 from each side. Go ahead and divide each side by 3.3347. And then we end up with this. Natural log x equals negative 1.9465. Now again, you don't need to know what this actually means, you just need to know how to use it and pull this x out of here to solve for an actual number. So, if you end up with something like this, what you have to do is raise e, this number here, to this number here. So natural log x equals negative 1.9465. We need to raise e to the negative 1.9465 power and that'll give us x. So in this case, we have this number. This is just the MAC calculator. Hit this under secondary options, e to the x button, and this is the number it gives us, 0.1427, which is 14.27%. So we've used this equation to calculate this exact value here, where half the maximal number of worms die. I mean, we found that to be 14.27%. Now, in the case that an, a linear equation was used instead of a logarithmic equation, it actually makes your life a lot more easy. This is just an example that I, I made up myself, but if you calculated the trend line and it happened to be linear, this is something that it might spit out here. Again, plug in 6, half the worms, half the max number of worms to die for y. Go ahead and subtract 4.2876 from each side. Then go ahead and divide each side by 12. We get 0.1427 for x which is 14.27%. Now, for the final example, if your equation that you had to use happened to be exponential, 
Again, this is this uses e and natural log, just like you saw in the logarithmic. This is an example of equation that I made up. That uh, that this is something that Excel might spit out to you here. Something that looks like this. Go ahead and plug in six for y. Now again, it may not be six for your uh, specific trial, but you just take half the maximum number that died. So I'm assuming that the max number of died for e each detergent would be at 100%. So in this case, we plug in 6. Divide each side by 2.9395. And we get e to the 5x equals 2.0411. Now we want to pull this x out of here. So it's the reverse of what we did in the first example. You take the natural log of both sides. So, for example, e to the 5x equals 2.0411 would turn into natural log of 2.0411 equals 5x. See how that works? Now your calculator will solve that natural log as long as it doesn't have a variable in it, it's just a number. Go ahead and take 2.0411, grab the natural log of that, divide by 5, we get this number here, 0.1427. For x, which is 14.27%. So, that's how you calculate an LD50. And for each example, now again, whether you use exponential, logarithmic, or linear will all depend on the shape of your data. So, if you have any questions or it's confusing at all, just get back to me and I'll uh, try to clear it up for you. Good luck.